As some of you may know, we are attending a funeral today, so I won't be posting a regular episode because I won't be working around the homestead that much. But I did film uh, dinner last night and uh, the full recipe and everything. So enjoy that and we'll be back tomorrow with a full episode. Thanks for understanding. Today I'm making a chicken chili pie with just stuff that I have in the cabinet in the refrigerator. We have carrots, red onions, chicken, tomatoes with green chilies, filled peas, and corn, and kale. And basically you just fry up all the ingredients in here. Oh, my daughter's freaking out. <laughs> Um, fry up all the ingredients in here and then you top it with a cornbread topping and I just use the little <laughs> jiffy cornbread just one cornbread does it and then you top the whole thing with cheese I'll show you okay so sauteing the onions with the carrots the carrots take the longest so that's why I put them in first you want to layer your seasoning because if you don't you're gonna have a bland dish salt pepper Tiny bit more salt here. Stir that up. Okay, and let that cook down a little bit. Now I'm going to add some chopped garlic. I buy the jars to save me time. Unless I find really good garlic, which is very hard to find nowadays. This all comes from China. So I just eyeball it. I don't know. A little bit over a teaspoon maybe. I don't measure anything guys, sorry. Put that in. Ooh, I wish I had smell a vision. This smells so good. I'm chunking up the chicken. Sorry about the focus there, guys. I have chicken on my hands or I'd fix it. Oh, you're gonna add your chicken. And I'm seasoning it with cumin. Gives it that chili taste. And green chili powder. I'll do that in a minute. I can't do it with one hand. I'm going to layer it again. Salt and pepper. This is important, guys. I'm not from the Midwest. I'm not from up north. I season. I'm from Texas. Now we're residing in New Mexico, and we season things. Don't forget. Okay, while that's cooking... You're going to want to turn your temperature down a little bit. And also, if it starts to stick to the pan, you're going to want to deglaze it. And what that means is you're going to put liquid in there while it's hot to sizzle up all that good seasoning off the bottom of the pan and add it to your mixture here. I don't want to add regular liquid, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the tomatoes now because it is liquidy. Listen. You hear that good noise? Now, while it's making that noise, stir it and scrape up the bottom. I want you to see. See how it's working the bottom there? It's getting all that tasty stuff off the bottom of the skillet. That's what you want it to do. So get that liquid all the way around. And scrape the bottom of the pan. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat and I'll tell you why. See the chicken is not done, but this is going into the oven. If you cook this chicken all the way through and then put it in the oven, you're going to have dry, tough, chewy chicken. You want tender chicken, so turn it off. Okay, now add your corn and whatever beans you're using. I'm using field peas is what I have. Sorry for the shaking. Stir this up. Get it all mixed in there. Tastes pretty good. It will, won't it? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Don't forget to add in your kale at the last minute and just let the heat of your mixture in there kind of wilt it down. 
Salt it again, guys. I'm not talking about a million grains of salt here. Believe me, you're going to want it. A little bit of pepper, too. Okay, now just let that kind of wilt down until you're ready to stir it up. Then you're going to put your cornbread mixture on top, pop it in the oven. I'll show you that next. Okay, so I'm about to mix up my cornbread. I have my farm fresh egg in there. Look at that gorgeous dark yolk. Milk, I like this brand a lot. I don't drink regular milk from factory farms. Okay, so it's one third cup. This is just the instructions for the little jiffy mix and the mix. Okay, that's all mixed up. And in addition to this, I'm going to add some cheese. You can either add it right on top at the end of cooking or you can add it into the cornbread. Normally guys, I'd make this a lot spicier. I would add green chili or jalapenos or something like that. But when you have a five-year-old who doesn't like spicy, you have to sacrifice a little bit or make two meals. And I don't have time for that, so I'm sacrificing. Just fold your cheese in there. The key to a really good cornbread, even if it's a mix, is letting it rest for a little bit. I'm going to let it rest five minutes, and then I'll stir it again, and then I'll put it on top. Look at our kale. It's wilting just very nicely. You don't have to add kale. I add kale for a little bit of extra vitamin and antioxidant boost for my family, because I don't want them just eating canned veg. Okay, it's been five minutes. The cornbread has risen a little bit. We're just going to put it on top. Want to spread it around. Does not have to be perfect. It's really good. I love you, mommy. I love you too. Yeah. Now I'm thinking that I need a second mix, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, I made another mix and put it on there. I had forgotten that I usually do too. So there it is. It's going into a 350 oven. Oh, heavy, heavy. Got to put this down, guys. Yes. It's going to bake until your cornbread is done. Follow the directions on the cornbread. It says like 15 to 20 minutes, so just Excuse me, keep an eye on it. One little correction here. You are supposed to bake this at 400 degrees. So. Now it's ready to go. <laughs> It is finished. Woo! Fogging up the camera. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. Now you can top it with cheese at this point and turn off your oven and just stick it back in for like, I don't know, five minutes and you'll have melted cheese on top. I'm not going to do that since I added it to the cornbread. There it is. In all its glory. My husband said he was hungry, so I made him something to fill him up. Probably really hot. Yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Is it cool enough now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it. I'm not gonna burn my face anymore. It's pretty hot. Mm. It is filling. It's filling what? after one bite? No, it will be filling here. <laughs> 